Hello, Namaste everyone. Let me welcome you all in today's session. Dear students, in today's session we are going to deal with one of the grammar topics that is prepositions. Uh, under prepositions, uh, we will basically focus on the various uses of different prepositions like on, in, at, for, with and so on. First of all, we will uh, go through some examples. We'll analyze the examples and we will uh, generalize the ideas or the rules and so on. Let us first start with some examples. Okay, I have some examples for you over here. Uh, in number A, we have Look, there's a spider on the wall. Number B, there are some apples in the basket. Number C, I met him at the airport. Next number we have, Sumit is angry with you. Next one, Kapil is fond of singing. Next number, children rely on their parents. Number G, we have, the thief snatched my purse and ran across the road. Yes, in these examples you can uh, notice there some of the words that have been underlined. For example, in number A, the word on has been underlined. Similarly, in number B, in, at, with, of, on, across. Yes, these words have been underlined. And these words are some examples of prepositions. And from the above examples, what we can generalize is that, yes, uh, you can see some points over here under generalizations. Yes, we learn that in the above examples, the words like on, in, at, with, up, across are known as prepositions. Then what is preposition? Did you get any idea? Yes, okay, no problem. You can see over here. I have uh, given a definition for preposition. Yes, a preposition is a word or a group of words used before a noun, pronoun or words or let's say a noun phrase to show direction, time, place, location uh, and the special, special relationships or to introduce an object, right? And okay, preposition from the word preposition you can simply say okay pre plus position equals prepositions. So what it means? A preposition is a word that we place before a noun, a pronoun or words, right? So you can see here prepositions, yes, pre plus position equals placed or used before a noun or pronoun. Right? Okay, now here uh, you can see a figure and in this figure you can see different types of prepositions that we are going to deal with in today's session. Yes, under types of prepositions you can see number one, prepositions for time, prepositions for place, prepositions for direction, prepositions for instruments. And okay, there are other more types of prepositions but basically we will uh, discuss about these uh, four types of prepositions in today's session. And you can also see under prepositions of time, we can use the words like on, in, at, before, after, during, etc. Similarly, under prepositions of place, you can use the words like on, in, at, under, over, behind, beside, inside, outside, between, above, etc. In the same way, you can also okay see there under prepositions for directions, we can use the words like up, down, to, th through, past, over, across, into, etc. Similarly, uh, in the next type of prepositions, uh, that is prepositions for instruments, we can use the words like by, with, etc. First of all, we will discuss the okay, various uses of prepositions on. Okay. Uh, we can okay, use preposition on in different conditions. For example, 
uh, the first condition where we can use preposition on is before uh, the name of festivals, right? Especially one day festivals. Before the name of one day festivals, we use preposition on. Let's see an example for this. Uh, my younger brother was born on Christmas day. Let me repeat this once again. My younger brother was born on Christmas day. Yes, day is connected there, so it is known as one day festival. Next example we have, she gave me a beautiful present on my birthday. Yes, uh, some of the festivals like okay, Christmas day, birthday, holiday, yes, we generally use preposition on. Right? Okay, uh, next condition where we use uh, preposition on is with the name of days and dates. Yes, with the name of dates and date, we use preposition on. For example, he arrived here on Sunday. Number B, I was appointed in this office on 1st January. Yes, you can see there, on Sunday, on 1st January. Yes, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, these are the name of the days. And before the name of the days, we use preposition on. Similarly, uh, Yes, 1st January, right? 15 February, like that. With the dates, or before the name of dates, or let's say before dates, we use preposition on. Uh, yes, next condition we have, uh, with the name, with the means of transportation, right? With the means of transportation, we use preposition on. For example, you can see here, I travel 20 kilometers on a bicycle. Yes, bicycle is one of the means of transportation. Similarly, number B, we have, they went abroad on a ship, on a ship. Next, our principal usually goes to a school on foot. Yes, you can see there, on ship, on bicycle, on foot. Yes, but uh, there are some exceptions, you know. So, uh, in the case of a car and a taxi, we use preposition in. Let's see the examples for this. Number A, she came here in a car. Number B, we went to a temple in a taxi. In a car, in a taxi. Yes, this is the exception to this rule. Now, next condition we have in number D, uh, when something is attached to somewhere or a place, you know, or position, uh, we use preposition on. For example, the book is on the table. Yes, here on the table means on the surface of a table, right? Similarly, next example we have, uh, the fan is on the ceiling. Yes, ceiling. When it is attached to ceiling. Next, the ship is sailing on the sea. Yes, on the sea, on the ceiling, on the wall, on the table. Yes. Now, next condition uh, where we use preposition on is with the with some verbs you know uh, some prepositions go with only some particular verbs for example you can see uh, we use preposition on with the verb depend right yes for example depend on rely on insist on live on keep on etc now we will uh, learn uh, the different uses of preposition in. Yes, there are some conditions where we use preposition in. Uh, let's see some examples for this. Uh, the first condition we have for the use of preposition in is to denote a place, especially the larger one. Yes, we use preposition in to denote uh, a place, especially the larger one, you know. Uh, for example, Nepal lies in Asia. Nepal lies in Asia. Asia, it is a bigger place, right? Continent. That's why we use preposition in. Similarly, next example we have, my uncle lives in Kathmandu. Yes, Kathmandu, it is a larger place. So before the larger place, we use preposition in. Next example we have, Harry has been living in Hetara for a month. Yes, in Hetara, right? Now, next condition where we use preposition in is before the name of wearings, right? The clothes or some 
okay jewelry is for example she looks beautiful in a sari yes in a sari next example you look attractive in suit and pants in suit and pants yes weddings before the name of wearing so we use preposition in right now next condition we have uh, before the parts of the day yes before the past of the day we use preposition in for example he goes to temple in the morning next example the sun sets in the evening right they go for prayer in the afternoon yes in the afternoon in the morning in the evening yes with the parts of the days we use preposition in but we have some exceptions for this for example uh, the parts of the day like noon dusk dawn we use preposition at for example at uh, yes at dawn or at noon at night at dusk yes with noon dusk dawn we use preposition at this is the thing to be noticed now next condition where we use preposition in is before the name of month year season century or the period of history right let's see some examples for this number a we have they left for the uk in january next example susmita was born in 2057 bs number c it is cold here in winter yes you can see there uh, january it is the name of the month right january february march april yes similarly uh, before the name of yes year like 2057 2050 yes we use preposition in similarly before the name of season like okay summer winter raining we use preposition in yes did you get the idea good now next condition we have uh, yes uh, okay we have two more examples for this uh, you can see uh, regarding the preposition use of preposition in number d we have people were uh, deprived of their rights to education in rana regime yes in rana regime next everyone wants to be updated in 21st century yes before the okay periods in the history and before the name of the century we use preposition in right now next condition uh, where we use preposition in is with some place phrases with some phrases as in okay number a we have uh, he believes in ghost similarly next example mr chetri deals in clothes number c i'm in such a hurry that i can't talk to you now yes you can see the words uh, that goes with preposition in for example or, or with some uh, particular words we use preposition in for example believe in deal in right in the same way uh, in such a hurry yes with some phrases also we use preposition in okay now this is all about the use of preposition in now we will move to words the use of preposition at right okay let's see some examples for this uh, with some conditions okay we have some conditions where we use preposition at the first condition we have to denote clock time this is very common use of preposition at right for example our school starts at 10 o'clock next example we arrived here at 12 p.m you can see there at 10 o'clock this is the clock time and similarly at 12 p.m this is also the clock time right so to denote the clock time we use preposition at now next condition where we use preposition at is to denote a small places right to denote the bigger places we use preposition in that we have already discussed but to denote a small place we use preposition at let's see some examples for this number a we have your father is waiting for you at the airport yes at the airport similarly next example uh, there is a man standing at the gate yes 
at the airport, at the bus park, at the gate. Yes, these places are smaller ones, right? So to denote such small places, we use preposition at. Now next condition we have before the name of festivals, right? Before the name of festivals, also we use preposition at. Let's see some examples for this. Number A, we have my son will arrive home at the same. My son will arrive home at the same. Next example, don't you put Tika from your sisters at the heart? Next one, we play with colors at Holi. Yes, the same, Tihar, Christmas, yes, uh, Holi, these are the name of festivals. And before the name of festivals, we use preposition at. And next condition where we use preposition at is with some adverbials, right? Let's see. With some adverbials, also we use preposition at. For example, the children are playing at present now. Yes, at present. Next example, Manil is watching cartoons at the moment. Next example, we have, we often go out at weekends. Yes, you can see here the uh, adverbials like at present, at the moment, at weekends. Yes, these are some adverbials where we use preposition at. And next condition where we use preposition at is with some Verbs like don't laugh at the beggar. Next one, he's he's staring at me for no reason or for nothing. Next one, look at that painting. It's beautiful or it's very nice. Yes, you can see there uh, with the verbs like laugh at, staring at, green at, look at, furious at. Yes. These are the verbs with which we use preposition at. The next condition we have yes to indicate price, rate, speed, we use preposition at. Let's see some examples for this. Number A, he bought that shirt at cheap price. Yes, at cheap price. Number next, Kamlis runs his bike at 80. 80 MPS. Yes. Okay, uh, next uh, condition where we use preposition at is to indicate age, right? To indicate age, also we use preposition at. Let's see some examples for this. His grandfather died at the age of 90. Next one. She joined college at the age of 18. Number C. My elder sister got married at 25. Yes, at 25, at 18, at 90. Yes, to indicate age, we use preposition at. Yes. Now this is all about uh, pre uh, about the use of preposition at. Now we'll discuss uh, the various uses of preposition by. Right. Okay. The first condition where we use preposition by is with before a point of time. We use preposition by to indicate a point of time. Let's see some examples for this. For example, by tomorrow. Yes, by next week, by next month, or by next year. You can say. Similarly, by 2008 TBS. By December. Yes. These, uh, okay, examples indicate the point of time. And to indicate point of time, we use preposition by. Now we have next condition where we use preposition by. Yes, that is with the uh, means of transportation, right? With the means of transportation also we use preposition by. Let's see some examples for this. Yes, first example we have is yes, by plane, by bus, by train, by car, etc. Yes, we use okay preposition uh, in as well as by with the means of transportation that is car and taxi but you need to notice whether there is a use of article or not if there is a use of article before the okay uh, transportations like car or taxi then you have to use preposition on sorry in 
but if there is no preposition, uh, sorry, no article, then you have to use by. Yes, did you get the idea? Good. Now we have next condition where we use preposition uh, by, that is with the means of doing something. With the means of doing something or how you uh, do something. For example, by check. Yes, by later. Yes. Next, uh, let me give you example in a sentence. I paid him by check. Yes, I paid him by check. He told me everything by later. Or you can also say, I paid him in cash. Yes, with the word cash we use in, but with the word check later we use by. This is uh, the thing you should uh, keep into your consideration. Now, we'll uh, learn some of the uses of preposition with. Yes, let's see some okay, conditions where we use preposition with. The first condition where we use preposition with is uh, to indicate an uh, instrument, right, or tool. To indicate instrument or tool, we use preposition with. For example, uh, she cuts vegetables with a knife. She cuts vegetables with a knife. Next example, he draws pictures with a pencil. Yes, with a knife, with a pencil, yes. Pencil, knife, these are the instruments or tools. So, with the name of instruments or tools, we use preposition with, right? Similarly, uh, with some adjectives, right? Uh, preposition with goes with some adjectives like delighted with, angry with, satisfied with, disappointed with, right? Pleased with, furious with, etc. So, you can Okay, notice all the examples too. Uh, next condition where we use preposition with is to denote uh, having or carrying uh, something, right? If uh, you are saying that somebody is carrying something or having something, then in that case you, you can use preposition with. For example, the man is, the man with white hair is my father. Yes, the man with white hair means having white hair is my father. Number B, the lady with an umbrella is my sister. The lady with an umbrella means carrying an umbrella, right? Is my sister. So, uh, to denote or to mean having or carrying something, also you can use preposition with. Now, uh, this is all about preposition with. Now, we will uh, learn about preposition, the use of preposition of, O, F, of, right? The first condition where we use preposition of is with some verbs like get rid of, die of, accuse of, tired of, right, fond of, take care of, dream of, afraid of, consist of, deprived of, yes, okay, these are some verbs that, okay, with which the preposition of is used. So there may be other examples too, so we can okay explore more about the uh, various uses of preposition of. Now next condition we have uh, about the use of preposition of is uh, to mean belonging to something or somebody. Yes, when you mean to belonging to somebody or something else, you can use preposition of. For example, she is a good friend of mine. She is a good friend of mine. Next example. This is a lid of a bottle. This is a lid of a bottle. Right? Next example. Who is the writer of War and Peace? Who is the writer of the book War and Peace? Yes. You can notice here the word of. Okay. That has been underlined in each sentence. Uh, now, uh, we'll move towards the next preposition, the use of preposition of, O, F, F, of, right? Okay, there are some conditions where we use preposition of. Let's see. The first condition we have to mean, uh, to mean down or away from a place. We use preposition of to mean 
down or away from a place or position of something. Let's see some examples for this. Number A, we have he fell off his bicycle. He fell off his bicycle. Next example, the baby fell off a bed. Yes, fell off a ladder, fell off a bike, fell off a bicycle. Yes, with the verb fall. Yes, we use preposition off, which means yes, down or away from a place or position, right? Now, next condition we have, uh, yes, with some verbs. Preposition of is used with some verbs. For example, take off, get off, switch off, doze off, fall off. Yes, there may be some other more examples you can, okay, explore yourself. Now, this is all about uh, preposition of, or uh, use of preposition of. Now, we'll move towards the use of preposition for, F-O-R, for. Okay, the first condition where we use preposition for is with some particular verbs. Yes, with some uh, particular verbs like uh, apologize, sorry, wait, leave, look, search, we use preposition for. For example, apologize for, sorry for, wait for, leave for, search for, yes, etc. Uh, now, uh, let me give you uh, the examples in a complete sentence. The first sentence we have, I apologize for what I have done. Next one, we, yes, we are waiting for you for an hour. Similarly, next example, they left for the town two days ago. Yes, you can see here, apologized for, wait for, or waiting for, left for, yes. Now, the next condition we have uh, to talk about place, sorry, price, reward, or punishment, also we use preposition for. For example, he was awarded for his honesty. You are responsible for what you have done. And next one, you are going to jail for the crime you have committed last time. Yes. Now, this is all about preposition use of preposition for. Okay, now I have some uh, questions uh, regarding the use of prepositions. Uh, you can practice this, okay, on your own and if you have any confusions, you can, okay, contact us or you can consult us. Okay, this is uh, this much today, for today. Thank you very much.